Hey, it's Miriam with Before You Buy, and this here is a review of the Fleur One, the new Fleur One. Uh, this is a thermal camera. It's capable of, of visualizing heat. It's really kind of cool. Uh, Fleur has launched another Fleur One before this, but it was only for iPhone 5 and 5S, and it was a case. You put your iPhone in it. Uh, with the new Fleur One, the price has dropped uh, quite a bit, and uh, it is now a dongle you attach to the bottom of your iPhone 5, 5S, 5C, anything with a lightning port, your iPad, uh, 6 and 6 Plus, of course. And then there's an, uh, an Android version I'm, I'm holding here and here's the iOS. Uh, Android version is a brand new thing. It's actually going to be coming out in July sometime. So you get, you know, you get an early look. Uh, both kind of plug into the, the bottom of your phone or the side of your phone if your USB port is on the side. The iOS version obviously has a lightning connector. Uh, so that brings in a, a few interesting things that I'll show you in a second because with the Android version, the direction of your USB port will dictate which way the camera is pointed. Whereas with the iPhone, you can reverse it and have a what they call it a thermi, which is a selfie of yourself thermal, uh, or uh, you know point it outward and, and and visualize your world in thermal imaging. So I just want to take it out of the box so you can have a quick look at uh, what it, what's inside here because you know it's not every day that you get a thermal camera to review. So uh, you know just open it up and you can see here is the thermal camera, basically lightning port. Uh, you have two openings here. Uh, you have a uh, normal camera and then a uh, the special solid state thermal sensor. And this is what Fleur's business is all about. They make uh, cameras for commercial purposes, you know, for the oil industry, for the car manufacturers, of course, for the military, for, uh, you know, for law enforcement, etc. But they've been making also commercial products. Uh, it just kind of plugs into the bottom of your iPhone. So you now this, this is for the, the Thermi, the self, the front facing. And if, of course, because it's interchangeable with Lightning, if I go like this, uh, I can actually, you know, use it as a viewfinder. Now, it's in, uh, another thing I didn't mention, there's a button with an LED on the side here. You can see it flashing green right now. That is the power switch. You can turn on and off, and uh, it has a little battery in here. So what that means is that it's not draining the battery of your phone while you're using the thermal camera, which is a really nice thing. And, of course, it can charge the, the, the battery via a micro USB port right here. So there's a micro USB charge port on the side, which charges the built-in battery, and I believe acts as a through port to charge your phone as well, if it's connected. So that's the um, iOS version. The Android version that's still in this box is exactly the same, but with a micro USB port. And again, if depending on the orientation and the, and the location of the port on your Android phone, it's going to... You know, it's going to behave a bit different. Uh, they've optimized it to work on the Galaxy and LG phones to face outward, uh, but on the Nexus, it's reversed because it's facing inward. So there, you know, there are some challenges there. Um, the other thing that's in the box is this cool carrying case. Um, this is a pretty sensitive sensor to light and other things. So as you can see, it's nicely recessed, but you can slide it in here and. Boom, you know, you can put this in your pocket. There's a lanyard, a hole on the side here. So you, there's a lanyard provided in the box. Uh, you can see a lanyard and a, a micro USB charge cable um, and some manuals. But basically you can uh, carry this in your pocket without worrying about damaging it, pulling it out anytime you need. Uh, so it's a, it's a kind of a cool, cool design. And then um, the other thing to keep in mind is you, you don't see it, but when you turn it on, there's like a little mechanical shutter behind the glass that opens up. It's really cool because this sensor is extremely sensitive to light and heat. So you don't want to get a, a bad reading. You want this to be cool, basically, when it starts. Uh, cool in terms of electronic, uh, you know, sensing. So basically, you install the app, which comes from, uh, you know, the App Store. It's uh, the on the, app, on the Apple App Store. It's already there, and it's called Fleur one you can see it right here uh, launch that you you know plug this in so i'm facing this monitor which is very very bright red because it's very warm and as i scan around away you can see some of the shapes of the there's the very very bright led light in the sky and another very bright led sky and, uh, it, you know, it orients properly. It does landscape and portrait. And as you see, there, there I am speaking in the microphone. You can see my glasses are a little cooler. So, you know, at first it seems like a gimmick, but you can see there's, um, there's crosshair here in the middle that, 
that tell me what's the temperature. So according to this, the middle of this monitor in front of me is at 96.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So it gets pretty hot on the surface of that screen, right? I mean, that's about the same temperature as my body, but it's pretty amazing when you actually find out the reality of the heat of things. What this is useful for, you're gonna say, this seems like a toy, and I'm not sure I wanna spend money on a toy. Well, you know, I tell you, seeing this around your house uh, and seeing the leaks you have around your windows, on your pipes, that kind of stuff is really amazing. In the back of the box, they actually say, they say at home, you know, you can figure out what kind of um, energy loss you have and, and optimize and also any kind of electrical issues you might have. You know, at work, it says, you know, find, uh, find, find out if your machinery works properly. If you have, a, you know, if you're a small, small business, you have a factor like a bunch of machines, maybe one is overheating and you have no idea and it's about to break on you and you can kind of tell by looking at this over time, right? You can see that it's, uh, something's happening. And of course, you know, there's the whole kind of fun aspect. It does show an outline of the thermal image uh, and that outline is is provided, this is my hand, uh, it's provided by the, the visible light camera. So there is a flash you can turn on so that you can get some more light because it does combine the two images. Um, let me show you some other things about the app real quick. Of course, you can do videos, uh, you can do photos, you can do panoramas, which is really amazing, um, and time lapses. So you can set it up, put your phone down for like half a day, um, and or your iPad if you want to take your phone with you and you want to leave your iPad somewhere. Uh, and you can kind of see, uh, you know, is there, like in your garden, you point the iPad at your garden and you can see, is there a hot spot during the day? Is there a par particular area of my garden that gets warmer than any other area where I can plant my tomatoes or maybe not plant my tomatoes? Uh, stuff like that. It can show you a bunch of different... Um, color choices for highlighting. So you can do like gray maps, rainbow colors, because obviously, you know, it's mapping right now a range of colors to temperatures, right? And so you can choose how you want that mapping to happen. Um, the thing that I wish it had, the only kind of drawback to me really is that you can combine the visual image you can adjust how much of the visual image versus the thermal image you can see. Uh, and, and that is something that um, I wish they, they'd done something about, but they didn't. Uh, maybe on the future version. Another thing that's interesting is after you've taken a picture, you'll see that after the fact, I can swipe down to see how much of the visual image I can see. But I wish it let you blend the two better. And that's one thing that, that I think is an improvement. It's just a software thing. So I think they'll be able to make it happen. So, you know, I think this is a pretty cool device. It costs $250, 249 which is cheaper than the first gen. And it works on Android or iOS. You actually have to buy one for Android or one for iOS. You can't use them on both. But uh, keep in mind that there wasn't an Android version before. So, you know, I think it's very useful if you are a DIY person or a contractor and you want to kind of, you work in electrical, heating or plumbing, you want to try to find problems in your home or your, you know, if you're, if it's your business for your customers, it's $250 well spent. There's a number of applications that are really quite remarkable. So it's certainly not for everyone, right? Uh, and it's also still very early in the thermal imaging consumer um, a space, but I think we're going to probably have these kind of sensors built in by default in all our phones within 10 years. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, and frankly, um, I think it's a buy. Uh, for $250, I mean, it's like you're getting, you know, essentially military grade technology for personal use. It's, it's remarkable. So this was our Fleur One review here on Before You Buy. Check it out. Uh, it's $250 and it's a buy.